people. Uh, but those are the, they're, they're the most fun because they'll come up to you and talk to you about the most ridiculous things afterwards. They'll talk to you about your groove or your soul. Um, we make a lot of comparisons to bands that you don't want to be compared to. We played a show in Indy where this drunk girl came up to me and hugged me three separate times and couldn't remember any of the times that she had hugged me before. She'd just come up and say, I gotta hug you. I'm like, all right, but we, you know, we already have hugged. And she didn't believe me. We played a show outside of Grey House once where this drunk guy tried to get up and play the drums in between bands. Um, I, got, I got yelled at by a homeless person once for not being willing to play a blues song. To the point where I thought he was really, there was really a chance that he might like attack me, uh, and then he told me I wasn't welcome in Texas. But yeah, nothing too crazy. We played a show once where a clown came up on stage and played kazoo with us. It was like some event for a, we. It was in Fort Wayne, and we got asked to play this event that was supposed to be like for the community to like eat for free or something so they had all this food and they wanted to make it this big event um, so they booked bands they, there was like an alligator there at one point this guy brought like baby alligators um, but then as soon as the meal was over and the bands were supposed to start playing literally everyone went away, except for the bands and the clown and so we still played um, but because like it wasn't important at all uh, the clown was like, hey, can I play with you guys? And we were like, sure. And so he had this kazoo that he had made into like this big ridiculous prop that kind of looked like some crazy horn. And so he came up on stage and played kazoo, kazoo with us. I don't remember hearing him at all. I don't think he played it into a microphone. It was more, he was more of a prop, I guess you could say. Our music is, um, it's, it's indie rock, which who knows what that means. Uh, but, you know, we try and be melodic, we try and have instru interesting instrumentation and arrangements. I can tell you what it's not. It's not metal. It's not singer-songwriter music. It's not folk music. Uh, it's not alternative rock or classic rock. It's just, it's indie rock by four guys who love each other and who uh, care about trying to do our best. We're, we're some of the most ridiculous people that you would meet. Uh, we definitely take our music seriously, but we don't take our tel ourselves too seriously. I don't, well, Adam Adam and I, our, our bassist, grew up together, really. And so our sense of humor is very much intertwined with each other. Um, if he was here, like uh, uh, the answers that are coming out would be a lot funnier, probably, because we would just play off of each other. There probably wouldn't be any... Uh, serious answers to any of the questions and you probably wouldn't be able to tell for sure if we were telling you the truth or not but so Adam and I just tend to kind of like uh, try and derail things as much as we can. Dwayne our guitarist you get a drink or two in him and he just gets really goofy he gets loud he dances around a lot uh, he's a father and so I don't know that he gets you know, he he has a lot of lack of sleep because of that, and so he, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of the outlet he has for that. Tori, our drummer, uh, I don't know. He's just kind of an enigma. Like he's he's different. And he's hard to read, but I don't know that individually we're ridiculous. I, do you think I'm being ridiculous right now? Yeah, I think that individually we're just normal guys, but when you put the four of us together, it can get kind of, kind of crazy and kind of weird. So yeah, I mean, like uh, when we're rehearsing, we take it pretty seriously, but we also, uh, I don't know, take our pants off if it's too hot. Or uh, that's a stupid example. You know, it's just, it's just like we're all adults, but we're also four guys that get alone in a room together and when four guys get alone in a room together you just kind of act like kids again um, so that's kind of what happens when we get together and the sense of humor and our age just kind of seems to drop greatly when the four of us are together without other people watching us you also really uh, want other people to enjoy what you're making and so when that happens when you when you perform a song or anything at a show really and people applaud or laugh or do whatever it is that you're hoping or expecting them to do 
uh, it's, a, it's a pretty great feeling. Uh, and it's a selfish feeling, admittedly, but it's a pretty great feeling. And um, I'd say that's, you know, that's one of the top things. But also just like looking over and seeing the other guys smiling and knowing that we're having a great time. Uh, those are those are kind of my favorite moments during the shows when like Dwayne or Adam and I get kind of close to each other and you just kind of look over and see that they're having a great time. Um, I think those are probably my favorite moments.